So I got into San Francisco a couple of hours ago, and this is really day zero, the kind of unofficial start of Salesforce. Now, Dreamforce isn't your typical IT event. Um, it's got loads, of, it's more like a festival feel, really. You've got DJs playing, you have um, lots of bands playing throughout the week, and there's also a lot of parties. Now, tonight I went to the APAC party. Thanks a lot for letting me in. I used to live out in New Zealand and did work in New Zealand and in Melbourne and in Australia uh, and met a load of um, guys I used to work with, so it was really fab going there. Um, oh, and thanks to Aperio, capital E, reputation.com, sales fix, source consulting, talent hub, and exactly for sponsoring the event. It was very cool. They had two pianos playing off against each other and yeah, a lot of fun. But there's also breakfast events like uh, an App Exchange breakfast I went to a couple of years ago. But one of my favorite places is Moscone West. Now, this is where the developer, admins, and architects hang out. Uh, you can ask for consultations uh, about your org, and there's numerous booths and demos that you can kind of find out more about different parts of the Salesforce platform. Uh, one of the cool things they have kind of most years is the IoT cloud, which is kind of a city made out of Lego to show you how IoT can work, as well as different concepts like VR. But on Monday, the day before Dreamsource officially starts, is usually the day of giving back to the community for the Salesforce MVPs. And it's a great time, but because I got in late to San Francisco, I actually missed all the charitable work they were working on. But a couple of years ago, I did go to an elementary school in San Francisco and painted some of the walls. It was great fun, and it really did feel like I was kind of giving back to the community. Okay, so tomorrow is the first day of Dreamforce. Um, I'm what, well, first I need to pick up my badge because I haven't yet, but some of the events I'm gonna go to tomorrow are kind of a bit more kind of architectural feel. So um, first thing I'm gonna go to see is um, in uh, a Tableau in depth session at 8 a.m., hopefully if I get up in time. And um, because Tableau was an acquisition that Salesforce made uh, earlier this year, I think it was, and um, I've kind of it's cropped up in a lot of the projects that I work with, but I haven't really kind of used it in anger. So I kind of really wanted to kind of have a look at it in depth. Uh, then I'm going to go to see casting an architect's eye over complex customer data models, which uh, should be really interesting. And then it's the main keynote. So this is Mark Benioff's keynote where they get you know other CEOs up and they talk about what's new on the platform. Uh, so hopefully they'll be announcing something very cool, fingers crossed. Um, then I'm gonna go look at five ways to build apps with security and compliance in mind because I'm currently looking at bank, working with a bank, so that would be really good. Uh, and then is the fireside chat with Tim Cook and Benioff. Now this is live streamed on the web as well. So is the opening keynote with Benioff uh, early in the day. Um, but if you do wanna watch this, this should be pretty cool. It's at 1.30 San Francisco time or 9.30 if you're in the UK. Uh, then finally, I'm going to see uh, build apps that span Heroku and Salesforce with Heroku Connect, which I've done some bits before, but I want to see if there's anything new. Uh, and then finally, it's the Salesforce MVP party at the end of the, uh, the in the evening, which should be a lot of laughs. Uh, it's a great fun, and it's really the only time where all the Salesforce MVPs kind of meet up and kind of uh, have a bit of a chin wag. But yeah, this is it. So that's my Tuesday. So hopefully I'm going to be learning a lot and I'll speak to you later.